This is The Sand Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of The Pit Stop, where you, the pit crew, you are the real star today's show. As you know, happy Friday to everybody out there. And uh, Friday is always a great thing because there's so much to do on the weekend and uh, always pumped up on a Friday. So excited to be here. Excited to kick off my weekend with The Pit Stop with you guys and uh, talk about today's sim racing news. Uh, two things I want to ask you about two of our topics or stories or I think I have one of them up not the other but uh, two things that have been out today Theodore thank you buddy thank you Theodore thank you very much much appreciated uh, the strange call we're going to talk about the strange in, uh, towards the end of the show here be, sh be rest assured we are going to get strange before the end of the show here today so um uh, two things so yesterday we had Forza Horizon uh, the the Fortune Island DLC come out. Any of you guys get out there and play it? I haven't had a chance. The other thing that came out uh, on Wednesday was Phase 4, Release 4, uh, Version 4 of Assetto Corsa Competizione. Any of you get a chance to do that? I have not. I have been very, very busy behind the scenes, but I have not been able to have the enjoyment that many of you possibly have had, which is getting out there and playing some of the new content, new games, and things that are out there. So... Uh, hopefully you guys will chime in with your thoughts and opinion on Fortune Island. Is it a game changer for Horizon? Uh, and is round four a Hungaro ring of the Ferrari 488? Is that a game changer for Competizione? Your thoughts, your opinions. Please chime in. Let us know what you're thinking and if it's worth the money and worth the time, worth the download time and uh, getting set up and going. So anyway, uh, Forza, they have their thing talking about everything going on, Horizon Life, multiplayer update, photo mode improvements, photo mode improvements, Horizon Holiday Party, woohoo, other improvements, blah, 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 that's Fortune Island that came out uh, yesterday for uh, Forza Horizon. Uh, Codemaster's talking about Dirt Rally 2, the steel book. So quickly, anybody remember? I didn't remember, but the story already told us. Gone back to their racing roots with this Colin McRae Rally 2 inspired design. Read all about it here. And when you go there, it's got the full write-up talking about some of the improvements that are going to be in Rally 2.0. A lot of things that we've already heard. It's sort of a recap on a lot of stuff we've heard. In addition to the steel book, free with the purchase of Dirt Rally 2 available at selected retailers. Uh, so anyway, you can get that version, which is kind of old school, going all the way back to Colin McRae uh, days. So there you go. What else? What else going on? Uh, yes, even the Crew 2 has motion. No, as we are going to talk uh, about the Crew 2. It's their free weekend. I have that in our stories today. Welcome, Dave. Fortune Island is more of the same. Is that good or bad, Dave? So, I mean, if you love the game, having more terrain, more roads, more content is always good if you're not thrilled with the title then it's like the wording there more of the same implied almost like yeah whatever um i hope it's a little better than that what about a uh, seto corsa competizione how many of you guys got out there and drove the ferrari and is four r are four cars and four tracks enough oh look at that we're on our seto corsa competizione is four car Four tracks. Steel. I said steel. I did say steel. Um, I believe... I, I, I honestly never got that version of it. They're making a big deal of it. I think it's just a special edition that is purchasable through root retailers. For us, the same... Blah, 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 uh, Set of the seal. It's great to see the studio... Uh, I don't even know, to be honest with you. I promised you guys I was going to know more. But, um, I really didn't matter too much to me <laughs> oh it's so sad but so true uh there was not a patch t-bone yesterday or on wednesday was the fourth round of update i don't think there was a patch i didn't see anything of a patch that's out there right now uh release four is what they're calling it so if you bought it uh either release one two three four well one and three were the different price points if you bought it uh you get that update automatic um it drives really good, but not really thrilled with the events. Ah, okay, I gotcha. Uh, Ferrari physics needs some work, especially when braking. And maybe that's the, the advantage, and we could, you know, have a whole discussion. We could have a strange conversation about uh, the, the rollout and the pros and cons to what they're doing. But, I mean, you think about it, it's allowing them to... 
uh, make those kind of a change is car by car, tra- uh, uh, track by track. Sounds like Sean wasn't firing on all cylinders. For what? <laughs> How There are so many things you can make that comment about. Um, loving the snow and ice. So uh, Rudes is a big fan of the winter aspects of Horizon. Uh, without it, it would not have been the most sold Microsoft title ever. Interesting. Okay, great thought. Great thought. Um, anybody still buy physical copies? Pim, that's the funny thing about something like that. It's like, yes, is that's such a thing of the past. That's like talking floppy disk, you know, almost at this point. Uh, Young Racer, this is Project Cars, Project Cars 2, Project Cars 3, Project Cars Pro. What do you want to, we'll just call it Project Cars. Uh, but he came on board as a consultant for Project Cars 2 Rally Cross Physics, that being Ollie Erickson. And he is now an Rally Cross 2 Series World Championship. Read about his incredible 2018 season and how the game helped him with his latest pro driver interview at P Cars, Oliver Erickson. And then when I clicked that earlier, it took me nowhere. Let's see if they fixed that since then. Oops. Nope. Nope, we don't get to know more about poor Ollie. Anyway, uh, that means they had two different, because I know for a fact that Mitchell Dijon uh, also was working directly with Project Cars on rally car, in particular physics, and he was a big help there. And the rally cars actually came out very, very good uh, in Project Cars 2 as well. Uh, physical comment. I like having a physical copy because of things that I'm paranoid about, like not having my internet, which has happened. My internet's gone out for more than 24 hours at one time. Uh, that could totally mean anything that's an online only. It may or may not work. Um, but who wants to go all the way to the store, too? Strange things. Strange things are going to get strange. Hey, Pro Sim Racing, how you doing? All right, so page not found, page not found. What else? Crew. The Crew 2 free weekend starts now. So if you thought about it, you want to try out that Demolition Derby, uh, you can actually try it out for free, and they do have a 67% off sale going as well. Um, December 18th, so this weekend now through December 18th, looks like you're going to be able to get in the open world, try out the PVP, pure PVP, person versus person feature, and snag the Maserati Gran Turismo S Touring Car Edition for free. With the purchase of the game so the purchase gets you a little extra and it is free anybody wants to try it no internet no vr no buy those are three things we need for sure yeah i agree theodore i think if you're gonna bother doing something like that and we've seen that like uh where a version where it comes with an in-car die cast uh a cool booklet maybe you know some uh, a keychain some other things you know if i'm gonna bother getting the collector's edition let's let's make it a true collector's edition all right my uh i'm not I'm gonna keep it easy i'm not gonna let this turn into a rant but 704 games nascar heat they're talking about qualifying for the e nascar heat pro league is on so it went from last year's quick champion at homestead to hey we're launching the official e nascar series to Hey, it's already on. Don't forget to race daily and share your videos on social media with the hashtag #eNascarHeat to get noticed. Ooh, build your fan base within the NASCAR hit. You know, all right. Let's talk about that. Let's be honest. We can sit here and we can we can shun NASCAR all we want. Now let's be realistic. You guys are the pros of sim racing. You guys are the guys who do it for real. You take it seriously. You know the tricks. You know the nuances. And you better, even more so, you know how to race. You know how to get the job done. Any one of you out there could be a E NASCAR Heat Pro League champion. And the reason I say that is, let's face it, that game is a, a leveling the play field. Uh, anybody with the time, the laps, could do it. Uh, you want to be a big name, a big star? If it's going to be big, if you think it's going to be big, you're talking NASCAR. You're talking the biggest motorsport in North America. If you're a North American sim racing person, this is going to be the biggest. And, and at least it's looking that way, which means you could get out there and you could be one of the best. And you know what else? 
you could be one of the first to, to get a really big name in it. There's still ample time to get out there just as they're going to start promoting it to create your own YouTube identity as an eNASCAR champion uh, or, or contender. Uh, get a fan base going. This could be a big deal. This could be a good opportunity for people who love oval racing, want to do eSport. If you're sick of going to work every day and you want to be eSport, you know, the great thing about eSport, there is no age requirement. Uh, anybody can do it. There is no sex requirement. Anybody could do it. I mean, there's no any sex can do it. I mean, there's plenty of sex requirement of life. <laughs> that didn't sound right. This still scratch that whole thought. Con coming through for the pit crew. Thank you very much, buddy. Thank you very much, Jackson. Happy Friday to you, buddy. Um, so yeah. Anyway, uh, just give it some thought. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't mind being an esport champion. I don't have the time, and I love my job, so I'm not looking for a different opportunity. But there you go. There's my uh, positive note on NASCAR esport. E, e NASCAR. Uh. Sean started all this sim racing on the internet. I can fairly, I can safely say that I practically started sim racing before the internet um, in a strange way. I don't know if I qualified as sim racing prior to the internet. In fact, it, how can it, can it be? Uh, is racing against the AI, is that racing? I don't know. Is sim racing the moment, like, is it not sim racing until you're going head to head against another human being i don't know you guys tell me uh-oh melanie's here she might have heard my horrible comments hi melanie welcome to the show uh fanatic this is what you asked for this is our first ever formula style xbox one compatible steering wheel so oh i have the video elsewhere i don't need i don't need that page it's also at their blog here's a good looking picture and video of what we've been asking for. So as I play this video, hopefully we won't get the show taken down. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to reveal, this is in the words of Thomas Yackermeyer, it's a great pleasure for me to reveal one more product before 2018 comes to an end. I guess this is the final thing we're going to hear from them until then. And basically this is the the Xbox One compatible version. Notice the coloring. You probably everybody would have guessed it was going to be green and black, and it turns out it's going to be red and black. Uh, but this is the new Formula V2. 350 bucks. It's going to go for. It is on pre-order. Pre-order. Gotta love pre-order. Uh, looks like it has the Podium Advance Paddle module available as well. So it's basically the same wheel runner. Very very similar to the other one. Just another option. Um. Racing against the AI is just effing around in the sim. Esports will target the largest possible market and genre. Yep, I agree. I agree. That's that's something the the that we we definitely have a, a acknowledged on the show. It's going to be where the money is. It's going to be where the numbers are. I led the way. Thank you, Solo. Thank you very much. Um, RTA. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. AI is better than robot racers. <laughs> Robo race, it's coming. That's coming too. Just, just imagine. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> well said, Josh. Racing against the AI just leads to AI abuse. It's a great thing. <laughs> AI lives matter. Uh, it is a great looking rim. I agree, Dan. That is a really nice looking rim right there let's play it again uh we'll get our whole show taken down for that uh it's the amd version yeah totally amd um i like this much better than the yellow one the bumblebee i didn't like the bumblebee color scheme i do like the red and black i like it's aggressive it's mean it's very racy to me um i guess yellow and black could be considered racy too uh, anyway, great looking wheel. That is going to be another part of the new uh, plan, everything. It's also at their uh, Facebook page as well. All right, what else do we have to talk about? Rick Motek, I told you guys they are going right from PRA, PRI to Sebring for the Lucas Oil Karting School Challenge. And they have, in fact, gotten there. So this is at the Rick Motek page. I better hit refresh because I know they posted one more. Uh, wait till Robo Race gets hacked from the grandstands. Wouldn't that be funny? Um, red is faster than green. Green 
is considered an unlucky racing color, from my understanding. Uh, I actually know where a robo race car is if I wanted to go look at it and play with it and uh, show it. I don't know if they'd let me show it. Um, anyway, all right, what else do we have going on? So Rick Botex there, look at this lineup. This is at, so we, we talked about this karting challenge. I know it's not sim racing related, but it is sim racing related. So Lucas Oil has a whole scholarship program that they're doing. They've invited, what, 20 or 30 of the best, I think it was 30 of the best carters to have a competition at Sebring, and that's been going on. So anyway, these photos are all from Rick Motek. You can see all the Tony Kart suits. Surprise, surprise, in the world of karting. Um, and then they're putting them in other cars. So Group 2 heading out on the track for the scholarship shootout at Sebring, partly cloudy. They're also doing a lot of uh, uh, simulator work as well. So this was a whole other thing. That was our photo of the day, this one right here, showing the whole group. Congrats to the 14 finalists in the shootout. Good luck tomorrow, being today, to all the finalists. And who's there? None other than Racer McGee, Glenn McGee, big friend of mine, good friend of the shows. He's there. There's a picture of him with Frank at Sebring. Uh, he was one of the judges, actually. Uh, so they brought in a, a sim racing slash real-life racing scholarship winner, ringer judge glenn mcgee so there he is with frank at the whole event and i'm gonna hit refresh real quick because i know they posted one more thing that i need to put on my calendar come on refresh not gonna refresh for me huh uh can't i do this then there we go that's a good way to cheat rick Motek, it's coming the hot lap pump day christmas edition is soon upon us so when is the third wednesday of the month that would actually be, believe it or not, this coming Wednesday, the 19th. So Wednesday, the 19th, I will be there as well. I will be uh, at that hot lap pump day. We'll be streaming the whole thing. You will be able to get out there and turn some laps and see how you do on the leaderboard. No idea what the car track combination. They've done a good job of making it free content for the most part on iRacing. That's the only giveaway we usually have is that's what they're going for. But show up and see what you can do you got the guys from extreme motorsports who are just so fast I, I we have yet to dethrone them the pit crew is yet to dethrone the guys from extreme motorsports we need to get we need to represent motorsport network acquires virtually entertained now these might be two company names that you're not that aware of but when you really think about it motorsport network are actually the guys behind like the e nascar heat pro league they're the guys behind the Le Mans eSport series that we've talked about. So this is a big group and they have now acquired Virtually Entertained as uh, uh, another, that's another one of these third party uh, event planner, you know, companies that actually do the on-site event type things. Hot Lap Pump Day in VR. Yes, I'm going to have to do it in VR. That's for sure. Um, oh, RTA. Well, they're still in Florida. They're at Sebring, just the other side of Florida. Um... Peppermint edition. There you go. So, all right, what else? Uh, I am always talking about the ultimate thing to put on your feet when racing. Or That's a big topic here, whether it be shoes, socks, bare feet in some gross cases, I guess. But how about these for some uh, racing socks? These are on Amazon. Amazon, And these are the, shh, I'm watching racing funny ankle socks. I think it'd be even better. Uh, I saw a pair that said something like, if you see this, I'm watching my Lifetime movies or something, like you're kicking back on the couch. I'd like a pair of these that say, if you're reading this, I'm racing. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's just another sim racing idea. Might be a good stocking stuffer for some of you out there. Shh. I'm, watch I'm watching racing funny ankle socks on Amazon. Um, I haven't seen this even at the Dakar page, but Speed Maniacs is talking about the V1.0 patch. And this being a very significant patch coming for Dakar 18th. Dakar 18th, excuse me. Excuse me, water shoes. That's what we talked about. We talked about cool water shoes just the other day. Uh, the developers uh, also providing improvements ex 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 existing features and introduce 14 new features so this is going to be a pretty significant build update change log whatever you want to call it uh to dakar 18 don't have an exact date but it is coming they've been quiet for a little while um 
But here we go. We're going to see. Maybe this will be the one. I'm still waiting on that email. I'm still waiting on a single suggestion from a single person. I had one person say, it's going to get there. Trust me. I've yet to have anybody say it's time to go play Dakar 18. Um, if you're reading this, get away from my pedals. I agree. <laughs> uh, Merrill trail gloves all day. I've had many Merrill products. I trust them for footwear quite a bit. Uh, in fact, I think Merrill was involved with my five-finger shoes that I wore. I consider those river shoes, by the way. They work for plenty of things. The Sun. .co.uk has an interview here with pro racer Lando Norris on what's missing from racing games and also talking about playing pug, PUBG, PUBG, whatever. I, you know, I've never played that game, PUBG. I know it's so friggin' huge. I've never played it. Anyway, but here is a shot of the 19-year-old recently signed to race in F1 for McLaren. Uh, Lando Norris talking about what's missing from sim racing. Uh, this could be a topic and a discussion. This could be a strange conversation for those of you who know what I'm talking about. Uh, we'll be talking about strange in a moment. Latest Cartcraft update introduces a whole new mode. This is at Team VV talking about the latest Cartcraft update that we did mention when it came out. One of the things is, I guess they had a ghost mode, which they have dumped, and it's now gone to a time trial mode. And it will actually upload your time at the end of the sus session. If you do better, it'll replace your time with a better time, and it's keeping some form of leaderboard as well, which could add some fun and excitement. I like leaderboards. I honestly think leaderboards are some of the most underpromoted, underutilized features in games that we need to be taking more advantage of and having more fun with. We need to have our own pit crew attack of leaderboards. And when I say attack, it's not just one or two of us. It's like... We need to take over leaderboards. So that's that's what I'm thinking. A little eye candy for you. Anyway, I just like the picture. This is a driving Italia. Why do I like the picture? Anyway, this is one of those cabinet. Uh, that whole thing locks down into what is just a box and might even be girlfriend worthy in the living room or wife worthy. Uh, if you're having trouble sneaking a sim rig. Uh, John Hill. So this could be your key. You need a, a rig that completely hides away. This whole thing slides in and you wouldn't even know it was a rig. It would just looks like some stylish red box. I've seen a couple of different hideaway rigs like that in, in my years of doing this, that's for sure. Uh, what else? Look at these. So we've got the Martini uh, paint scheme. We've got the Golf paint scheme on two sim rigs. Total blatant, like, to me that is just like a really crazy CXE ripoff. That thing's all, that's like a ugly CXE, unfortunately. No offense to them. I'm not even sure. Sim gear, motion simulators. Where is this? What are your thoughts? Log in. It doesn't even, 18 grand. So they're reasonably priced. Uh, they are using, oh, look, someone's even saying you can get the motion for 2,200 plus shipping from Sim Experience rather than spending 18,000 for this with a Fnatic wheel package. Anyway, I like the color scheme and I like showing you guys cool simulators. So there you go. And speaking of cool simulators, the first baby sim rig. I'm not even gonna use the word, you know what I wanna call a rig that looks like this made of wood, made of uh, uh, wood just bolted or nailed together. You know what I wanna call it, but since there's a baby involved, I'm not gonna call it that. I'm gonna say, look at that beautiful DIY baby sim rig. Anyway, there's someone obviously trying to get their kid into sim racing at a very, very young age. And beyond that, what else? Um, Porsche Sim Racing Summit. This is going on uh, right now, I believe, right? At Leipzig, December 16th. So this weekend, you guys can go watch it. It's going on there um, at the Porsche factory. But look at the names of iRacers who are going to be in this one. I'm And I'm not trying to leave anybody out. So if I don't name any of your favorites, uh, don't don't hold it against me. But just Sebastian Job, Enzo Benito, Maximilian Benecki. I can never say his name. Benecki. Benecki. Camille Franchuk, Frederick Rasmussen, Jamie Fluke, Mitchell DeJong, uh, Jeremy Budaluk, Budaluk, Patrick Holzman, uh, Tommy Osgard, Sage Karam, remember Sage Karam, pro IndyCar driver Sage Karam getting in on the action as well. 
uh, Dawid Nowakowski, David Williams. I mean, look at the names of the that is going to go at it there in Germany at the Porsche Sim Racing Summit. Uh, this is going to be a big deal. Thirty thousand is on the line to uh, well, that's the prize pool. I'm assuming. I don't think the winner gets thirty thousand. But anyway, you can go watch that live. Um, I, I'm sure it's going to be streamed on the iRacing channel. I sure hope so. Uh, you can get tickets to the event through this link here. Beneke. Beneke. Uh, Porsche Sim Racing Summit, Summit. I can't read German, but there you go. And that pretty much takes us to the end of the show. So now let's talk about Sim Pit stuff. Let's talk about Pit Crew stuff. Well, on Sunday, I'm getting this on a web page, so I'm doing this one now. Um... The Simpit Global MX-5 Championship is coming down to the end. We only have two races left. Both of the races we had to change on our schedule. So the next race is the new version of the Charlotte Roval. They're actually calling it the Charlotte Roval. And that's going to be with that new uh, uh, chicane coming out of the final section, which is going to be exciting. And then next week we have the Scuba, the <laughs> Scuba, Sakuba. And that is completely new. We threw uh, Summit off the track, off the list, and brought in Sakuba. So we have those two races to finalize the season. David Clymer is leading by nine points over George Sandman. J David Clymer, two wins. He had an incredible win last week. I'm sure his mom is very, very proud of him. David Clymer won the race last week, just straight up won the race. George Sandman, seven wins, but finds himself in second place. And Nico Roman kicking butt, sitting there in third place. So things are heating up towards the end. We are going to finalize this in two more seasons or two more races, and then we're going to have to talk about what we're going to do next, but that'll be Sunday at noon. Beyond that, what else do I have to talk about? Tomorrow, you know, we don't usually double up and do this each week, but this time we are. So tomorrow at 9 a.m., Wreckfest, the perfect takeout. Wreckfest, take it out on your friends. Wreckfest, there are no rules. Wreckfest, Sean seems to be the bitch because I can barely finish a race in Wreckfest, but that's what makes it fun. I love hanging out with you guys doing it. That is going to be open to the patron group, the Simpit patron group, the pit crew. We'll be there doing that tomorrow. Jesse Khan will be hosting it for us. I'll be streaming it, of course, uh, for your entertainment, but I hope you'll get out there and smash some fenders with us. Beyond that, if you didn't see it yesterday, I did release, we did a live uh, viewing, uh, premiere as YouTube likes to call it, of the HPP Simulation 3P PRX SE pedals. And that review is on the channel. You can see that if you haven't already. I'm very proud of the review. Really happy with those pedals. Amazing, amazing pedals. Just blew my mind how nice they were. And my big tease of the day is... Hey, what happened? My big tease of the day is... Are you ready? Whoa! What is this? What is in this box? Um, well, it's not a dishwasher, and you can guess all day long, but I am not going to tell you what's in the box. But that is what is going to be uh, soon coming here on the Sim Pit. Very excited about what is in that box and uh, what I'm going to get to play with next. And you guys can spend the rest of the weekend trying to figure out what it is. And uh, I'm not going to confirm if you get it right or wrong, but I'll tell you, it is not a dishwasher. So that's going to do it for today. That's going to do it for this week. Last thing I want to tell you about, for the patron guys coming up at about 10.30, maybe 10.45, we are going to have, to be named later, we're going to call it the Sim Tunnel. It is going to be the strange edition of the Pit Stop. We are going to do our beta, our pilot, our dress rehearsal, whatever you want to call it. We're going to do a full shakedown live show. We'll probably repeat some of the topics we talked about here because it's really testing the whole thing. That'll be private for patron group only, and that'll be coming up at about 10.30, 10.45, right around in that time. We just have some tech things to work out, but that will be testing for what could be, if things go well, next Friday's edition of this show, The Pit Stop, will be the Strange Pit Stop to be named later, the Sim Tunnel to be named later. It'll be me and Billy Strange covering the biggest news. We won't make it 40 topics or 20 topics. It'll probably be more like a handful of topics that we want to talk about, we want to get involved with, and then finish with some real good discussion between me and Billy and maybe even you guys at times and some guests about important things in sim racing like 
the Assetto Corsa rollout, or what is sim racing missing, as Leandro Norris put it. So we're going to have that coming to you very soon. That'll be what the Friday version of the Pit Stop is going to be all about coming soon. And again, the patron guys are going to get to see the dress rehearsal, which could be a total train wreck, could be a comedy show. Uh, coming up today at about 10.30. Anyway, that's going to do it. Get out there. Do some racing. Get on those leaderboards. Let's get those leaderboards and start hammering. Let's go after that E-NASCAR. Maybe we can be the next champions. Maybe one of you guys will be the next Brendan Lay and be sitting there with a trophy and a big giant check. Anyway, that's going to do it. Have a great weekend. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.